It seems like I need to make a third increment in this Towards a Better Atheism, and this one regards the fact that atheisms get, atheists get scammed too. It's real obvious that Christians get scammed. You know that. But atheists are being scammed also, and when I say scammed, I mean that people trade on your atheism in order to make money. Atheists don't like to call it this, but the fact is that atheism is a belief just like any other kind of belief. You might have a belief that red is a better color than blue because that's your preference. You might have a belief that a faster car is better than a slower one because that's your preference. You might have a belief in a particular computer versus another kind based on your experience or facts or whatever. But the, the fact of the matter is that every single thing that you operate on is a belief of one kind or another. So it is not a loaded term. Belief, you have to believe it's good to brush your teeth in the morning. That's a belief too. All right. A belief about God is that God is A, B, C, D, E, F, or zero. And atheism is a belief that there is no God. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Every belief in life, no matter what it is, is a subject of someone trying to make money off that belief. When you see a commercial on television... It's trying to get you to believe in that product so you'll buy it. So if there's already a bunch of existing beliefs out there, somebody's going to try to make money off it. And atheism is no exception. The most famous uh, group of folks who are trying to, be to make money off belief are, I guess I have to say, Christians. Maybe the <clears throat> the Muslims are, are, you know, there's more of that going on in Islam. I haven't really studied it. But for Christianity, for sure, everybody and his brother is trying to sell you one kind of Christian book or another. And as an atheist, the guys that you most love to debate are those who claim that the earth is only 6,000 years old. Because those people are call themselves Christians and they erroneously believe that the Bible says the earth is only 6,000 years old. The Bible doesn't say that. But there are no end of people catering to Christians who believe that. And they make money off those Christians. And if I understand atheism on YouTube properly, the poster boy that most atheists like to make fun of is Nephilim Free. Because he's a King James onlyist. And he believes the earth is 6,000 years old, and he makes a lot of videos. Some of them, I'm sorry, are good. I say I'm sorry because I agree with him in some some things. But he's kind of wacko, like so many King James only is. There's not a person in the King James only movement who's sane. And pretty much all of them believe the earth is 6,000 years old, and you atheists like to make fun of them. Understandably, the, Understandable that you want to make fun of them. But, honey, the King James Onlyists are scammed right, left, and center by their own leaders. And in this video description, you'll find a link to a video that I did. And its own description has links to King James Onlyist leaders, so you can see how wacko they all are. Now, you would laugh at them, and you'll laugh at Nephilim Free, and you'll laugh at the other King James Onlyists, and rightly so, because they are, they are insane. Not a one of them could read Bible if it bit them. But start looking in your own backyard when you do that. In this video description also are links to atheist scam sites. 
And when I say scam, what I mean is that there are people who I'm sure they are atheists also. I don't, you know, that that's their real belief. But, honey, they're using their belief to make money off you. And just as King James Onlyism is a scam against Christians, so also, at least the guys that I could find in the video description link, like Richard Dawkins, um, not so much Christopher Hitchens himself, he's dead now, but people associated with him, and other atheists, they're writing books that you pay money for in order to go rah-rah atheism, and all they want to do is make money off you. They really don't care about the so-called cause. So before you go throwing stones at the Christian wackos, look at the atheist wackos. Now I'm not saying atheism is bad. I'm saying that you are being scammed to buy books saying rah-rah atheism by your fellow atheists. Just as Christians are being scammed to say rah-rah Christianity by other Christians. Now, for the Christian, we've got a book that we can measure every scam by and detect it. But how do you detect a scam in atheism? Okay? I, I believe in atheism. I've said that, and I mean it. You don't need somebody telling you rah-rah atheism to justify your atheism. You don't believe in God. That's your free right. And for whatever reasons or non-reasons you want to use, you don't need anybody to agree with you to justify your belief that there's no God. Okay? You don't need anybody to agree. It doesn't improve your belief. It doesn't demonstrate your belief it doesn't how do you want to call it support your belief if somebody agrees with you you do not need anyone on earth to agree with your belief about God pro or con in order to justify your own belief it's your belief you have a free right to it and I don't care if the whole world was against you you have a right to believe whatever you want so when you see scam artists trying to cater to what really amounts to an insecurity about atheism, don't listen to them. Now, how do I know that they're scam artists? Okay? Because, A, they're making money by selling books that say rah-rah atheism. And, B, because those books aren't giving you the right reasons for your atheism. Just as there are a whole bunch of Christian scam artists trying to make money off Christianity and they're not giving Christians the right reason for being Christians. In other words, there are right and wrong reasons for a belief. And when I say right, I mean like correct, provable, demonstrable. Or at least plausible. There are plausible reasons for being an atheist. And you don't need somebody writing some book to tell you what they are. There are also stupid reasons for being an atheist. Just as there are stupid reasons for being a Christian. Anybody who's in King James only really doesn't have a clue about God or the Bible or anything. So if they're Christian, they're, it's a stupid reason to be a Christian. And they're Christians because all these people are out there making money off them. So they're pawns. They're dupes. They're fools. And they're losing their money to people scamming them out of it. If you want to be an atheist, be an atheist, but not because of some scam artist, right? So, what are the atheists trying to scam you out of? How do you know that they're scamming you? Mainly because they spend so much time on evolution. I covered that in my first seven minutes of my first Towards a Better Atheism video. I'm all for being an atheist, okay? I really am. And in the fourth installment of this series, I'm going to explain why. I'm all for being an atheist, but do it for reasons that you can actually defend. 
evolution does not prove that God doesn't exist. If anything, I can turn right around, quote Genesis 1, 25 through 27, and say God authored evolution. See, here it is in the Bible. And you could not refute me. Okay? So, hi, Richard Dawkins just wasted his whole life writing books about, oh, well, see, evolution is really scientific. No, it's not. But even if it were, uh, hello, the Bible uh, upholds what Richard Dawkins wrote. So now how can he say it disproves God's existence? See what an idiot he is? He's just making money off you. He should be able to read Genesis 1, 25 through 27 in translation. And so should you. So if he's writing a book saying that evolution supports no God exists, uh, hello, he's just basically buttressing the Bible instead of refuting it. And you're stupid enough to buy his books? Please. Now, that doesn't mean you should stop being an atheist. It just means, well, I still don't have evidence of God. Okay, Evolution doesn't prove God exists. See, I want to make sure I cover that. I say that here. Evolution doesn't prove God exists. Just because there are verses in the Bible that fit evolution, that's not proof that God exists. Evolution doesn't disprove God exists, and it doesn't prove God exists. Evolution doesn't prove that the God of the Bible is the real God. Evolution doesn't prove anything. Because you know what? It's a hypothesis. So anybody trying to tell you that evolution proves something, pro or con God, is scamming you. All right? So throughout Richard Dawkins, throughout all the people who say, well, I don't believe in God because of evolution, because clearly all of those people couldn't think their way out of a paper bag. And they can't even read Genesis 1, 25 through 27 in translation. So they have no brains. Now, you do have brains. You don't believe God exists. Fine. You want proof of God before you believe God exists. Okay, fine. Think it out for yourself. And in the last increment, I'm going to deal with that question a little bit more so that you understand that my big concern here in this atheist versus theist debate is not to convert you, but to encourage you to think for yourself and forget what everybody else says. You got your own brain. You can use it. Peace out.